What's going on, everybody? We are kind of covered up by cases. Uh, we are live. Uh, Top's clearly authentic. We're doing two cases at once today, and then we're going to do a draft after the conclusion of this video. How's everybody doing? Happy Thursday. It's almost the weekend. The Yerminator has bitched out on his retirement, and he tucked tail and put his Charlotte Knights uniform on and is going to play minor league baseball tonight. That's really all the news in general. I'm going to close something real quick. Okay, we're good there. Nobody. Nobody wants to talk. All right, 17 people. Nobody wants to say hello. Well, you guys say hello. I'll say goodbye then. <laughs> um, Let's open these up. I'm going to just open up both the cases right now. Uh, for anyone who is unfamiliar with this product, and uh, this is actually a particular stab at 2018. I know that was a long time ago. But I will show you every single empty box. In 2018, they put redemptions under the cards. And that guy named Otani was a redemption in 2018. And I'm sure a lot of breakers stole a lot of Otani redemptions out of Clearly Authentic. There was a lot of, a lot of controversy I forget who, but one someone got caught is how it how it happened, how it came to be. And that's literally why I became home of the empty box. And that's why I show you guys empty boxes in every product. Because you would open this clearly authentic box, which they put sorry ass Bryce Harper on there. Uh they put the, the card on top so breakers would just pull the car, card out of the box and show you and then there'd be a redemption underneath it. So uh, you will see everything. This is important to know. And if we do, they have not put redemptions in the product since. Or they might have put the redemptions in the one touches. I don't recall specifically. But 2018 was a big, a big issue over that exact thing. So I just want you guys to be aware of that. You want to be able to see the inside of these boxes. So yeah, like uh, we were talking about Gypsy Queen. These weren't made in Mexico. So I don't know. Maybe they maybe they did an experiment and fucked up out there and they're done with it. But those Gypsy Queen packs, oh my goodness. The boxes, the cases, the configurations, the collation, everything about the product was just botched. Absolutely botched. We did find some bazooka backs today. I actually got to get my hands on the product after we sorted it. Uh, someone had reached out to me last night who had the Phillies. And they said, hey man, I'm pretty sure there was a Bohm uh, Negro Leagues variation, which are new to me. This is going to fall. I don't want it to fall. And uh, he was right. There was a, a Bohm Negro Leagues and a Bohm Jackie Robinson that we overlooked. And along with that, there was also... Uh, Andrew McCutcheon's base card is a Jackie Robinson Day shot. He's got the... I pulled like 10 of them. I said, what the fuck is going on here? And it just turns out... That's what I don't like. The same thing with the Altuve base card where he doesn't have a helmet on. Because the capless variations used to be a thing. And then uh, to use a base card photo that you use for a variation is a very confusing thing. So all the McCutcheon cards have the 42 Jackie Robinson patch on his sleeve. And it's very it's more visible than some of the actual variations. Which is wild. It's like, why, why would you even do that? But I digress. Just when you get your cards, if you're in any of those Gypsy Queen breaks, look over everything. You'll have your entire team stack in front of you. Set out everybody's card and just look at them. Do they match? No? Okay, something's different here. Just do yourself a favor, especially folks that hate ba base cards and pitch them. Just check them out before you set them in a box. You might have something that you didn't know you had. With that being said, let's, uh, let's rip 40 clearly boxes and see what happens. Let's see what happens. Good luck, everybody. Hopefully this makes for an amazing draft. Hopefully there's a lot of good cards available to pick. Here we go. First up, Reds. Red parallel number 250, Mike Moustakis. 
some of these slabs will be scratched or cases will be scratched up i get complaints about that every year from shipping uh it just is what it is they still have the bcws so they're using the same one touches uh mike moustakis for the reds here will be our first card Next up is going to be the guy that's everywhere, Raphael Marshan. And there's like a, just, the ca the cases are not, there's an actual like gouge in this one. Raphael Marshan, he's in everything. Every, he's in every case. We've hit him in every case in the last ten cases. He's, he's just everywhere. So if we pull two Marshans, we know we're meeting our quota, so to speak. Next box. It's going to be Albert Abreu. This card's not even in the fucking one touch. That's a problem. Look, this card is... And it's got the sticker on it. Oh my goodness. This is a tricky situation here. Try and convince it to go... What do you... Do? Good job. Good job, Tops. Who fucking put that in there? Hey, yeah, it's good. Tape it. I can't cut the seal. It's not my seal to rip off. That's the problem. I could fix this right now, but we'll have to let somebody draft it and let me know if they want me to rip the seal. And I don't want to push on it from the side. Could probably make something happen. That's ridiculous. What in the hell? How do you do that? Fire to one touch people too? What's going on here? What's going on? We need a good hit. Here we go, we're warming up, going in the right direction. Green, William Contreras for the Atlanta Braves. A step in the right direction. Not the best step to take, but it wasn't backwards. Next up, here we go, big hit. Number to 99, 93 of 99, it's the Allen and Ginner. Ronald Acuna Jr. What's up, Film Pro? What's going on, brother? 93 out of 99. We have Acuna. There's our first big hit of the break. That'll be a top 10 pick for sure. Has to be, right? A little Ronald action. I should say so. Get these boxes off the, off the screen. Ba -ba -ba -da. 31 people on Facebook, 7 on YouTube. Go ahead and hit that like button. Because Zach McKinstry is what every, everybody wants. And this one's the same way. How are these cards not sitting in here properly? Come on, Tops. I don't want to bitch at you. But come on. Uh, but anyway, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. All of those things. Make sure you get a notification every time we're live doing a break. Because it's better to get a notification and not need it than need a notification and not get it. And with that being said, you know, your boy Dane Dunning is here to save the day. This is, uh, disgusting so far. To say the least, disgusting at the moment. I don't like it. I don't like it. I want it to get better. Quickly. Quickly get better. There we go. For me, this gets better. Number to 70, Kerry Wood. He's, he's right there. I love the guy. Kid K. 15 out of 70 for the Chicago Cubs. Chris Meehan, don't laugh, bud. Don't laugh. Just wait till Chrome comes out. <laughs> I get it. Fucking 80 a box, and I'm cheap, too. It's like 90. Man, that's nuts. I wanted to do pick your team like we did for archives, but people wanted to get the guarantee, so this is the this is what you do to get the guarantee. Bum bum ba dum, Keston Hero. Yeah, baby. $80 a box. Let's go. Let's go. $80 a box. We can't, I can't do that to them while I'm doing this. I need you to hit the like button, Chris. That's all. I hit you with the frowny face. The mad face. It's just the fucking world we're living in, dude. It's the same world where Franklin Colomi autographs would sell for $15 when before they would sell for $0.15. Cents, you know what I mean? So I, 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 I hear you. 
Like, the big cat is never going to sell for 80 bucks. Andres Galarraga for the Expos. Super awesome player in his day. We're a quarter of the way through, and we have one really good hit. That's why my repacks are better. But enough people shit on the repacks that I probably never do them again. And now this is what you get. You get Tucker Davidson's number to 10. I would never put a Tucker Davidson in a repack ever. And this is looking like a, a front line hit right now. Bum, bum, ba, da. Moving on. I don't want to get mad. but it's, it's, I'm starting to bubble a little bit. I'm starting to get a little bubbly. All right, it's I'm I'm debubbling just cuz I like Gary Sheffield. 59 out of 99 for the Marlins. Gary Sheffield. Again, it's hard to get a good shot cuz you put the light on and you get a glare. And every, like why are it why is every case smudged? My repack was amazing. Mehan, who'd you get, bud? Did you get someone did you get a bad repack? Oh, there is there is one guy. I I don't even remember his name. We had like an entire back and forth for like hours until I talked him into a circle and he literally had no leg to stand on he just it turned you know the guy just didn't get what he wanted is basically all it was and then he was just trying to shit talk me there we go Minnesota Twins this is a decent rookie Alex Karoloff number to 99 a Snell refractor auto Bowman best that's that's what's up that's what's up at the time, that was actually a respectable card. It wasn't a winner. It was a bottom card, but for sure. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's that 16th best at a, at a strange design. Thing. I liked it, though. All right, here we go. Number 25, Cal Ripken Jr. I like that. I like this one. That will be top five up there with Ronald. It's pretty much Ronald and Cal. At the top. Ronald and Cal at the top. 47 people are here now. Oh, boy. Make sure you hit the like button. If I don't have 47 likes, I don't... The guy's got to go. Because there's not even 47 people in the break. You can't just sit here and stare at me. You got to hit the like button, too, baby. Number 99, the Polar Bear, Pete Alonzo. Your home run derby champion. Is it back-to-back, -back, even though there was a, a pause in the middle of it? We're all waiting for you to blow up. See, that's true. That could be that could be true too. But I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Pete Alonzo for the Mets, number to 99. It's probably top five too. The way we're going. This is good, 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 good. I gotta figure out how to get YouTube subs. So I'm gonna do some sort of giveaway. Just want to be able to stream mobily to YouTube. Oh, right, it's it's picking up. I like it. Pudge Rodriguez, number to 50. Again, not worth a ton of money for some reason, but one of the greatest catchers of all time. So hopefully the value catches up with him. But he signs and stuff, so maybe that's why. It's not like he's super rare, but he should get a little more respect, I feel like. Da, 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 da. Notifications, like, subscribe, all of that stuff. Oh, baby, Acuna again, number to 10. Let's go. There's the number one pick at the moment. 10 out of 10, Ronald Acuna Jr. For the second time. I like that. It's about time we hit duplicate on somebody awesome. I'm just here to listen. Let's go, Joshua. What's up, brother? Are you working a new job? Do you like it? What's going on? I, I see the post, but I, I don't really have time to pay attention. But yeah, just, you know, listen. And then, you know, I just gotta, uh, what, what do they call it? YouTube or something. They, they say it's the call to action when you tell people what to do. I don't like to tell people what to do. But yeah, hit the like button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go. All right, right back to where we were. Jose Garcia, base rookie. He, the dude signed on his leg. I mean, what the hell? Sign over there. Like, <laughs> the hell is this? Jose Garcia going to the Reds. Next. Next. Yo, CB, what's up, bro? I hate it. Oh, no. I don't want to hear that, bud. I don't want to hear that. This this guy. I just, I don't, I don't get it. I'm not a fan. Just not a fan. The dudes. Next. 
Imagine if you had the Braves of the break. Yeah, 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 two Acunas and a Contreras for sure. Be a monster break. This is Brent. Brent Rooker, number 75 for the Twins. Rooker and Kirilov, man. I'm not, uh, I'm not sold on either, but I'm not, like, not sold on either of them either. Well, that's one case. We got a whole other case to go, friends. Let's just keep rolling. I can clearly now... I Oh, I see clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's still some obstacles in my way, though, Jeff. Always, um, all right, this is why. Why is Marco Gonzalez signing anything? Any, anybody have an answer for that? Why would Tops ask Marco Gonzalez to sign anything? I just feel like they could get almost anyone better for the same price. No offense to Marco Gonzalez. He's doing more in life than I am, so... You know, I'm not, I don't want to sit here on this fucking podium and act like I'm better than Marco. I'm not. But, you know, I feel like they could, there's better options out there. That's all. That's all I'm saying. I'm excited to see who gets the last pick. I hate it like you pulling scrubs. Yeah, yeah, no, no fun. You got to do something better than that. Sitting on a river rock enjoying some adult beverages. Kayakers. <laughs> Oh, man, the Braves, number to 50. Dansby gets better every year, Swanson. Dansby's a fantastic professional ball player. There's no doubt about it. And we have Mr. Reti Why is this? He's retired. Alex Gordon. Fantastic career Royals baseball player. Hopefully, hopefully he's enjoying his retirement. Next up, Chris Bobich. He's in everything, too. 63. Oh, baby. It's blowing up. We got 12 on the tube and 51 on the book. Wow. When did the Facebook decide to start watching me again? Holy cow. All I do is trash talk Facebook. Not the people, the platform. It's pretty rough right now. I've been getting an error on my PC every time I click on my group. It says qu query error or some dumb shit. Then I couldn't even find my own listing in my own group, so I refreshed the browser manually. Nope, not there. I had to click on a notification just to bring up this post for this break. Michael Johnson, what's up, buddy? What's up? Oh, Shane, nobody gives a shit. McClanahan, baby. There's a hit. $80 hit right there. Shane McClanahan. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, if there's a one on one in the product, for sure. But, uh, that's, that's the least, this is the least likely product to get a one on one on in the, in the one touch product. So you got archives retired, archives active, and then clearly, and clearly's like the most respectable i guess it's the it's the only original it's an original product it's not a, a buyback product i guess is what i'm trying to say some of these are rough yeah this this is a 50 dollar box product 60 at most 80 is a little steep it's like this is it that's why i posted before we even post i said i have two cases and that's it and they weren't even both allocated so i got one case allocated and the other case i had to pay Pretty much what you guys have to pay. It's like, let's just do them both at once. And hopefully everyone's happier that way. Number to 75, Tanner Houck for the Red Sox. Ugh. At 80, you should get at least a $30 card. Well, see, I don't make the product. That's the problem. If I was making the product at $80 a spot, your floor would be 30 bucks Because I have a conscience. Instead, we have Zach McKinstry and fucking... Uh, Shane McClanahan, you know. Moving on. Oh, for the second time, for crying out loud, this fucking whore. This dude is the biggest whore in the memorabilia world. And good for him, because he's doing enough to stay relevant. But the only thing I like about Conseco is his Twitter when he gets all wild and tweets crazy shit. Then I just laugh. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. But, I mean, I I agree with you. I agree with the consumers. You guys spent your hard... I mean, we'll do the same thing we did for archives. I'm not going to freak out and throw card packs everywhere. 
Because I was fatter then. You know, we're, we're in shape now. We can just run around while we yell. <laughs> uh, uh, but, you know, if people spend their hard-earned money on this shit. And for the most part, it's... I don't like when the shit happens. Cool card here, though. Number to 50, Will Clark. Will Thrill, 19 out of 50. Aubrey Huff makes Kinseiko look like a saint. Uh, I don't want to go there, Finn. I don't even want to touch on that subject when he's all jacked up. <laughs> yeah, he's all jacked. He gets all jacked up beyond there talking, talking wild. Not even talking about the other guy. Next up, we have Hunjin Ryu. Base autograph, because pictures are a thing. Remember pulling... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, John, you mean like this dude? Yeah, yeah, Cedric Mullins? Yeah, we got him. We got Cedric Mullins hits. Guess where they're going? Right back in the fucking ceiling. Oh, look, another one fell out of the sky. Still not convinced. Finn, I really don't want to... I don't... See, Finn, there's too many people watching for me to have this conversation because it will get taken out of context. So, I saw what he tweeted, and I don't like what he said, but in a world where every... Just hear me out. Just hear me out, because I, I promise I'm not saying anything negative, and I'm not trying to be negative. But in a world where everyone rightfully so wants to be equal shouldn't you get your job based on your qualifications and if broadcasting a baseball game had a list of qualifications i feel like experience playing baseball is the highest qualification you can have so i get that there's color and there's analysts so the analysts should be the players, and I'm all for having a female on the color commentary side. I have no issues with that. I, I have no issues with it at all, but it gets to a point where where is it, where is it not, where, where is it you're just doing it for the attention, not the females, but the, the company. Where w At what point is it doing it just for the, the clout, for lack of a better term, rather than What's the best fit for the situation? Uh, that's my take on it. And I, and I don't mean to insult anyone with that. But I feel like it's getting to a point, And not just that, but just everywhere. Where it's people are doing things to be the first. Or, or, or to stretch it out and draw attention to it. Rather than who's really the best to be in, in a given position. And that's all I mean. And what he said is terrible. Right, his tweet didn't say that at all. And it's terrible. I agree. That's why I said I didn't want to touch it. But. I, I don't know how to say it. Without pissing everyone off. Because I, I don't mean anything negatively about it. At least some people want to work. Hey, yeah, I get that. I get that. Hey, and they want to work too. Fuck yeah, I'm all about it. Go get you a job. I want everybody to have a job that wants to have a job. But the the biggest issue you see, and now we're getting into the whole thing, is food service. And really, who wants to work? Who wants to wor work food service if they're genuinely nervous about the COVID? Like me personally, I don't give a single fuck about COVID. I don't. I I'm sorry. I don't mean that it's not real and it doesn't exist or any of that. I'm not saying anything crazy. I've lived my life. I'm probably had it a few times and I, I really think so. But at the same time, I, I don't care. I didn't die. I want to keep doing what I want to keep doing. I'll wear the mask. I have no, you know what I mean? I have no problems with, with the, the rules and it's just, everybody's different. Let everybody do what they need to do. Like, just let people do what they want to do. Nobody needs to say, hey, you're an asshole because of this. Or, hey, you're a bad person because of that. Or, hey, you're a, you know, it doesn't need to be that way. But the news and political, everything has to be political. And it just should not be that way. It's just, oh, it's, I just want people to be happy people and live their lives. Have fun. Have fun with cards. It's not, you know, just... Shane Bieber for the Indians. But I feel like if I say anything like that, it's like, oh, you're 
You're only saying that because you're a Republican or you're a Democrat. I'm not, I'm not even political. <laughs> I'm just a guy that's frustrated by everything he sees going on in the world. <laughs> Tangent achieved. That's it. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Another one, Cal Ripken Jr. So we're going to have two Cals and two Acunas. So there'll be four happy humans. There might be a happy human with the Will Clark because that's cool. See how many people we can make happy. But it's probably going to be more upsetting. Yeah, every it's all political. I just don't care. Spare me the political shit. I don't. I don't. I don't. Be honest. And that's the problem. Like hospitals lying about COVID deaths so they can get more money. The COVID, everything being COVID so that they can use that as a statistic to tell you. I just, it's just wild, man. It's all like, they're not telling you. What can make you healthy and happy? Yeah, yeah, post office. Awesome. Max Muncy for the Dodgers. Like, the first thing they should have said is, hey, there's some scary fucking shit going on in the world right now. We don't really know what to do about it, but everybody should start doing what they can to build their immune system. I mean, you don't even need to be a doctor to say that. You need to go, while we're figuring it out, do the best you can to take care of yourself. That's what, you know, I feel like there's no honesty with anything. And I'm all about honesty, and that's the problem. Nobody wants to give you the, the information correctly. Because, A, that nobody wants to come out and look weak and say, hey, we don't know. Nobody wants to do that. They want Everybody wants to know everything. It was, yeah, we'll take care of you. Come with us. You know? No, 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 no. No. Nobody says anything about taking a multivitamin, but they'll say, hey, you seen the 20 fucking big pharma commercials. Fran Mill Reyes, here, come take this fucking shit to lower your blood pressure and the side effects will have you fucking leaking fluid out of your eyeballs and you'll get the worst migraines you've ever had. And, you know, like, that sounds terrible. I'd rather just get healthy. I'd rather eat the fucking Cheerios and not put the sugar on them. You know what I mean? Come on. It's not hard. Well, I'm just gonna... If you're vaccinated, you're a Democrat. If you're hesitant, you're... Yeah, right, right, right. I agree. I'm I, with you 100%. I'm not vaccinated. I'm not, but I'm not against it either. I just want to see how it goes. So if that loses all my business, so be it. But literally, and and I can see them come out and say, hey, the Johnson and Johnson or the Moderna or the Pfizer or whoever, the one they had a two of them, AstraZeneca. That's the one. Hey, it's fucked up a little bit. We don't know why, but it's super rare. Like I want them to fix those things before I, you know, take care of that selfish or not what i i just i'm not in fear of my life over the thing is basically where i'm at with it i'm just i i literally if if i get it fuck i got it i mean that's i'm not that's that's literally my entire thought process other than that i'm gonna continue to be happy and live my life until that you know and i think i had it before it, the december before january so december 19 is honestly when i think i had it the sugar at the bottom. See, when I was a kid, I loved it. As an adult, I hate it. All the, like, like cereal milk, I don't like it anymore. It's just, it's crazy. We got another Shane McClanahan because, you know, Ari Hara wasn't good enough. McClanahan, number 75. I'm glad you could all tune in for whatever the hell this uh, break was that got off the rails real quick. So there's still 50 of you watching. They're concerned about a shot. I'm not concerned about all the... All the sugar and the food and ending diabetes. Yeah, yeah, So here's the other thing, Patrick. If if you say the vaccine's free, and it it's not free. Like, literally, you have to pay scientists to develop it and people to manufacture it and more people to distribute it and then people to actually administer it. And all of that doesn't happen for free. But you can do all that for free over something that's not even bulletproof yet, but you can't give diabetics insulin. I'm not even diabetic, but they've fucking need it to live lost smell for 24 hours clearly not a break <laughs> andrew did your did your wife get it though too did did heather get it she's in the medical field so i i mean i i saw like college pu public schools like iu for i live in indiana they're trying to say that all their students if you're on campus have to have the vaccine like why why do they have to the, the NFL's doing the same. I don't know. 
I'm not, like I said, I'm not against it. And if you got it, that's great. Especially if you got it with no side effects. I'm happy for you. I really am. But I'm just not interested in making myself sick when I feel fantastic. And I am, you know, in the back of my head, maybe I'm one of them fucking weirdos that would be that outlier that doesn't jive with with whatever they got in there. You know, I, I don't know. But I'm, I'm, I'm cool right now. Kenny Lofton, number to 75. That's a big hit for me in the hometown. I didn't get the shot. I got COVID. <laughs> Heather did have to get the shot. I won't. I got you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got the COVID. See, no, when I got it, or when I think I got it, uh, Amanda got it first, I guess, and she was so sick that she was on the couch. Neither of us ever get that sick where we literally can't do things for ourselves. So that was concern number one. Concern number two is I got it right after her. I felt fine the entire time. Anytime my heart rate elevated, I couldn't breathe. Could not breathe at all. We were we were starting a boiler job. It was my last boiler making job. It was the beginning of it. It was the pre outage. We were opening up the drums and going inside the steam drums, which for anyone who knows, it's like a fifteen inch oval manway. You gotta squeeze inside and then take everything apart before you can even start the job. And take it out. So you're you're bunched up in here. And I'm a big person. So uh, it's even smaller for me. And I'm bunched up in here. And trying to send stuff out. And every time I, I just couldn't breathe. So I go to the doctor. I'm like hey dude. I, I don't know. I feel good. I can't breathe. Uh, he's like oh yeah. You just got the flu. Or whatever. And then they prescribed me an inhaler. I never had an inhaler and prescribed for any illness from anywhere ever. And that was weird to me. And I took a flu test. And I was good. So, it was, it was, I, I don't know. That was before they really knew what was going on. I can live with side effects for a week. I hear you. I'm a big, anx I'm a big anxiety guy, but, like, crowds. I don't do crowds and people that walk slow in the grocery store. Albert Abreu, number 25, I will walk right through you. Don't care. I have things to do. <laughs> Unless you fall down, I'll, I'll pick you up. But I'm not, I'm not going to push you over, but just get out of the way. Last box. 55 people. Go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe. Whatever. Do all of those things. Turn on the notification bell. I appreciate you watching. Even if you think I'm a total fucking lunatic. That's okay. I know you're here for the cards. And uh, we got sidetracked. We're going to end with a terrible Monte Harrison for the fish. So this was uh, pretty rough. John's yawning. I hear you, brother. I hear you. Next break, we'll feature more card talk. And less on that. But... Sometimes people say things and I feel like I, I need to uh, I need to address it or just tell people I think because it's just so it's such a difficult thing to say something and then just everyone wants to shit on you instantly like you don't you don't even know me I didn't say like like Finn said if you get the shot you're Democrat or whatever like no like that doesn't mean that that's not at all what it means and I don't know why the internet thinks that that's what that means. it's just fucking love your I'm not religious either guess what love thy neighbor motherfuckers go love your neighbor go fucking check on them if you made some extra food go take them a fucking plate of food see how goddamn happy they are I fucking love my neighbor and I talk to him like six times a year you know what I mean great guy John Carpenter good dude uh, going to the National. Yeah, I might, uh, uh, I might go, Sam. I, I don't have plans on going every day. Uh, Blake Bollinger from, uh, Deep Fried Breaks, he was talking about going to a Sox game during, uh, the weekend. So I'll probably be in, uh, we might have a crowd of people mob up a White Sox game, you know, because that's good for the COVID, get people from all over the country to go to the White Sox. I, I'm all about it. But, uh, you know, we're going to have a, a spreader event or whatever, whatever the fuck that, you know. I Recap, sorry, Sam, let's talk about that later. Let's get off the camera. <laughs> let's get off the camera. Here's a recap before the draft. I will post a picture of every one of these cards, and then I'll randomize the straight fill list for the draft order. But just so you guys have an idea of what we had, it could have been better, but I don't know if it was terrible. Got a couple of Cunhas, so here we go. We had Shane Bieber for the Tribe, Davey Garcia for the Yanks, Ryu for the Blue Jays, Bubich for the Royals, Alex Gordon for the Royals, Dansby Swanson, number to 50, 
Uh, Marco Gonzalez, Brent Rooker, number to 75 for the Twins. We had Jose Canseco, Oakland. Uh, Jose Garcia for the Reds. Kiri Loft, number to 99. Gary Sheffield, number to 99. Kasten Hira for the Brewers. Dane Dunning for the Chicago White Sox. Zach McKinstry for the Dodgers. William Contreras, number to 99. Albert Abreu for the New York Yankees. Rafael Marchand. We only found one, so we're actually off the Marchand pace. Moustakas, number to 50 for the Cincinnati Reds. Monte Harrison for the Fish. Albert Abreu, number 275. Is there two Monte Harrison base? I have to keep track of that. Kenny Lofton, number to 75 for the Cleveland Indians. We have Trevor Rogers, number to 75 for the Fish. Shane McClanahan, number to 75 for the Rays. Kohei Arihara for the Rangers. Fran Mill Reyes, Max Muncy. Cal Ripken Jr., number to 25. Tucker Davidson, number 210 for the Braves. Andres Galarraga. Kerry Wood, black and white, number to 70 for the Chicago Cubs. Ronald Acuna Jr., number to 99. Cal Ripken Jr., number 250. We had Will Clark, number to 50 for the Giants. Canseco again. Tanner Houck, number 275 for the Red Sox. Shane McClanahan, base for the Tampa Bay Rays. Ronald Acuna Jr., number to 10 for Atlanta. Pudge Rodriguez, number 250. And the Polar Bear, Pete Alonzo, number to 99. Friends, that is the break. Give me, I don't know, shouldn't be any more than 20 minutes or so to get these, eh, maybe 20, 20, 30 minutes at the most to get them all snapped, good, get good pictures and get them uploaded onto Facebook, and then I'll do the list and we'll get to draft. And thank you guys very much. Remember, hit the like button. I appreciate you guys. We'll see you here in a little bit with the draft post. If you're not in the group, the draft thread will be an underground case breaks to Facebook group if you're watching anywhere else and you actually want to see how the draft unfolds. So there's that. Thank you guys very much. Have a great afternoon. Michael Willoughby. Oh, you got a little picture in my chat. There you go. I'm surprised that popped up in my all-inclusive chat. I don't really know what that little dude is, but I like it. We'll see you later.